can't afford a POS system, a cash register, or even a broken PC to operate your business? But what if I tell you you can use what you already have? Many small to medium business owners fail to manage their customers and transactions because they fail to use resources and softwares already available to them to help them automate and track their performance leading to bad reputation and even bankruptcy. Good thing Loiver's POS system can help you manage your business just by using your Android or iOS phone anytime and anywhere. From point of sale, payments, inventory management, sales analytics, employee management, CRM, customer loyalty, and integrations. By the end of this video, you'll have an in-depth understanding on how to utilize this POS system from your phone to keep your business on track. So right now, we're here at the Play Store and we're going to download Loiverse POS system. You can just search in the Play Store for Loiverse and let's go. And you can see this is the Loiverse um, official app. All you can do is to just click install and it's going to install you uh, some of its apps and features and let's just wait uh, for it to be installed in your device. After being installed in your device, you're going to proceed to the open section and I highly recommend registration if you're totally new from Loivers. All you just need to do is to fill up the necessary information but we're totally new so we're just i mean uh we're totally already experienced in lawyer so we sign in and now after we sign in we're going to it's um uh, all items and discounts as you can see we don't have discount yet so in order for a customer to order you're just going to click uh the selections that they uh, uh order like water steak fries and dessert and you're going to charge them either in a form of cash in the form of a card or check me but most commonly they pay on cash so if your customer requests some email i mean a receipt then just put their email address and once we enter that it's going to be sent to their email inbox or gmail or something like that although let's just uh, scroll a little bit and we can see that the receipt is already in their uh, gmail account as you can see the employee the employee name and the information etc if you want to add new customers you could just fill out the information if you want to add customers with ticket as necessary like that and when we add ticket voila we already have the information so we're just going to remove the ticket and add another uh, customer let's name it Jeffrey and just give the necessary information voila we already have two customers with different information so after that, we already add some customers. I already teach you that. The next thing that we need to do is to first uh, go to receipts. Once you click a receipt, you can either refund it from the top, but now we don't need it. So we can just see the information of the customers and the transaction and type like that. That's all about it. When you go to the items, if you're wondering how can we add some menus, it's pretty simple. You could just uh, click the right top bottom and we're just going to name our menu. Now the menu could be, um, let's say, uh, jelly and categorize it into beverage or the categories that you make in your uh, section. So let's just uh, say its price is 25 pesos and then we're going to uh, put the cost of goods sold to 7 pesos and the SKU is totally customizable. That's what I like about it. And if you want some barcode, if it has a barcode in each inventory you make, that's really cool and now we can if you want to track some stocks of your jelly, jelly or something like that it's okay now we can highly customize this into different shapes and colors so it's up to you it's highly customizable and i really love about this uh, section so we just click save and we already have our own uh, new menu it's called uh, jelly and it has 50 stocks and we have some different categories that you can do when we uh customize another new category let's say for example jelly uh, menu and that's it we already made our new category so we're going to add another one it's meat it's called a red and we're going to another uh, another one uh, category let's say a uh, veggies and we just call it coded to green and that's important so it's important to categorize your menu if you have uh, want to have an organization now the discount is very simple let's say you ha you name it to Valentine discount that's it and voila and let's say put the value of it to 20% discount it's already added so let's add another one so let's say uh, spring sale and let's say add the value to 35% and that's it so 
the way to use it is so, so simple. For example, uh, your uh, customer pay uh, 485 pesos. Uh, let's wait a minute. Let's go back. Let's go to uh, receive their order. For example, we could split them actually in half. Let's say we want to split it. Just click the top right corner and you can split the check or the payment in half. And it's actually amazing. See? Separate checks with different payment methods. Now, regarding to the, uh, the topic that we're uh, trying to go today, let's go to discounts. And we can see there's a lot of discounts. And he already avoided the uh, Valentine discount. Great. And the other one uh, already uh, claimed the two discount. That's it. And voila. So that is how you use it in the mobile phone about using discount and categorizing your products. Now, uh, let's say we're going to uh, go to items. We could actually add some printers here at their mobile device. So let's just name the printer and what type of device are you connecting it to? It can uh, true be uh, Ethernet or Bluetooth. It's very convenient and wireless, so we could try this some. Now, when we proceed to taxes, you don't need to hire a lawyer because it's, it's going to be easy. Just name the tax name and the tax rate. For example, uh, VAT here in the Philippines, it has 12% tax rate. You can include it in the price or you can add it to the price itself. So it's totally optional if you want to add it. Now, if you click that uh, VAT, you can apply this to multiple items according to your uh, menu. And we just save it and save. Now, the general is going to be just like use camera for barcodes, which I will be teaching, and the list and the grid uh, format. It's up to you, perfectly uh, customizable and optional. Now, the back office, it's going to proceed you to another web. And if I had a tutorial for it uh, on a PC, it's only going to work for PC if you have a browser into it. But you can also use it to a browser if you're using phone. But yeah. Just let uh, escape from here and go to apps. And they also have multiple integration apps that you can use. It's highly optional and it has a lot of um, availability or features with different purposes. And according to apps, I highly recommend you can experiment with those. Now let's go to support and it is going to be customer support if you have any problems. So basically it's very simple. You could also use this barcode that we enabled from the general option and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So basically my last review for this um, app is to improve their back office and integrate it uh, with the app instead of directing us to another Chrome browser. But totally it's for convenient and free. You could do whatever you want. And I'm sorry if I'm uh, very fast about uh, my teaching, but I hope you learned something. That's it and good luck in your business journey.